Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to walk you through the process of simulating and shading this gummy scene I created to test out SSS and transmission in Arnold. Let's get started with the layout of the scene by simulating a bunch of these gummies. I have this initial mesh, a really basic model I created. Make sure you freeze transforms and delete history before starting any sort of simulation. Now we can start by selecting the mesh and creating a mesh network. Then open the mesh editor since we're going to add some effects on top. We need to create a grid of objects to, to, to simulate them. I just use these values you see on the screen for the grid. Now adding a mesh random in the editor so we can randomize the objects a bit that will give an initial position and rotation for the simulation. Otherwise you might get very flat results. Let's just quickly add a transform to move the grid of the objects up so it has some time to fall down and create a more interesting result as it lands in the ground. Finally add a dynamics effect and the only thing I'm going to change here is the ground position so it matches the Maya's grid. Now it's a matter of letting the simulation go till you find a good resting position for the objects. From here we can duplicate the simulated geometry and hide the mesh nodes in the outliner in case you need them later. As you can see we have now a static mesh we can play with. Let's separate the geometry to individual pieces, also it's a good idea to delete the history. With separated objects we can easily adjust them since the simulation is not perfect and might have some intersections here and there. So you can start by finding the framing of your scene and manipulate the individual pieces that can be problematic or that might not fit the composition that you have in mind. I noticed that the, the resulting geometry has some hard edges. You can easily solve that in the mesh display and soften edges. And that's the simulation done. Now I'm going to walk you through the demo scene where we'll have a look at the shaders and the very simple shading network for the gummy material. For the lighting I have four area lights around the objects and also a dome light, a very basic setup. In the render settings I have just increased the samples by one and added some extra bounces on the ray depth. Keep in mind that rendering transmissive surfaces and subsurface scattering will be slow, depending on your computer specs of course, but it will always be a pain to render. Let's open the render view so I can show you the shading setup. So I am mixing two Arnold standard shaders with a layered shader. Let me disable the second layer so we can have a look at the main shader. In the first shader I have no diffuse at all, specular is set to 1 with some small roughness value and a water based IOR. For the transmission these are my values, more on them later. As you can see I have an RGB ramp connected to the transmission color based on my reference I created a gradient between those two colors. This is based on UVs, but a basic top planar projection on your objects before simulation will work fine. So the main attribute here is the depth, which controls how thick your object is. A lower value will create a volume-like effect, in the other hand, a higher value will produce a thinner volume with less scattering. You can easily see the effect in the render region. I found that a value of 0.5 was giving me the best results for the scale of this scene. 
I am also adding some extra roughness to the object so, so we, it isn't too transparent, let's say. Now the second material is, is just a basic subsurface shader, as you can see in the render view, with diffuse set to black and no specular, although I add some values there for experimentation. As for the subsurface, these values are very dependent on your objects and its scale. These ones worked for me, and as you can see I have connected again the same RGB RAM to the color of the subsurface. So in the layered shader, I have added only a bit of the SSS material, just to add some volume to the transmission, so it isn't as see-through. And this is the result you can see in the render view. As for the bump, I have an AI noise for the smaller bits and a cell noise for the larger ones, controlling them with a remap HSV where I set the output values. You can add bump maps together just by connecting the out normal of a bump node to the normal camera of the other one. I am just going to load the rendered image to show you the final, the final result. The render settings are the same as I have show you, showed you before. And this is it, not a perfect result, but it was a good experiment to play with transmission and subsurface settings. I hope this was useful to you and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you, see you in the next one. Bye bye.